to Sven's favorite formation. That's the Cologne lineup. One change from the first leg. They've had to bring in at centre half Gert Strack, who takes the place of the injured Gerber. And it will mean some tactical changes. Kuhlman, I'm sure, will play at the back. And Schuster will move forward to midfield, although I would think a pretty defensive midfield player. So, with the exception of Zimmerman, it's the side which suffered their worst league defeat of the season 1 5 to Bayern Munich on Saturday. Just four substitutes, including. Heinz Schloher, the club captain. That's the Nottingham Forest lineup. They too have made changes in defence, of course. The return of Anderson and Burns. Boyer will continue where he played in the second half of the first leg in midfield. And the front line total 55 goals. And this is Nottingham Forest's 55th game of the season. Again, just four substitutes. Woods, the goalkeeper, O'Hare, midfield or forward, Needham and Bryn Gunn, the youngster defenders. The referee, Nicolas Renier of Romania, gets his second leg underway with Forrest commencing a straightforward, if not simple, task. They need their 13th away win of the season and they have 90 minutes to achieve it. Forest in the all red strip, the dark strip, Cologne in white. And that's Zimmerman who's got forward right at the start. And the corner conceded. Conditions in marked contrast with the first leg. Plenty of green grass on the pitch. And little sign of mud. Pitch barely taking a short stud. Back to come up into the box at the back and there'll be another corner headed away by Martin O'Neill plenty of big men forward three on the near post one on the far for Cologne Peter Shilton waiting his first test Anderson on the near post and turned over by Schuster and in fact it came off Boyer. So early pressure from Cologne. And it's Vice Viler, their manager, or their trainer, obviously deciding he's got to play to the team's natural style, which is to attack. Which is true, of course, of Nottingham Forest. Brian Clough said at lunchtime that the early moments will be important. Forest have not got to go out and chase this victory. They've got to settle first. And they're being put under early pressure. Shilton has come for it. It's Prestine. Nicely back to Konopka. And a beautiful swerve. And well headed away by Lloyd. And the first free kick. And the inevitable booze from the crowd. Konopka is the player down. Slovak for looking at. And just a quick word with Gary Bertel. Schuster still up on the edge of the area. Away by Anderson. John McGovern for Forrest. They really can't get it away at all. And the flag out for offside against Zimmerman. Peter Shilton with the chance to steady things down. Bertels and Woodcock, the furthest forward. Woodcock, in fact, pushing well up on number three, Zimmerman. The marking continue from the first leg. There are the two together. Schuster, number five. And Bertels almost taking advantage of some rather casual play by Zimmerman. Kuhlman, the skipper, who came across. 
Woodcock. Neumann is number 10. Good play by McGovern. But a goal kick. Schoolman. Struck. And Cologne going nowhere fast. Try front men pushing up then on the defence as they try to play it out. Here's Bertels. Woodcock is near post. And further over to O'Neill. Oh, he really thumped that. Really got hold of that, Martin O'Neill, and came in very sharply. Curling cross away from the defenders, and in came O'Neill, met it on the full. Struck. Konopka. Schuster. Neumann taking over. The two looking rather similar, but Neumann is, is somewhat the taller. Dieter Muller. Curled in. Van Gool away by Byrne. Schuster. And that swerved a lot. Chilton having to adjust his feet just a bit to get all the body behind it. under pressure from the back looked at the referee but he allowed them to get away with what could have been a push Prestine Tanopka so much again on the touchline McGovern Woodcock marked by Schuster this time Robertson is wandering around quite a lot faced by Schuster O'Neill. Bertel was in strack. Good volume of support for Forrest. And the flag is up. And an offside decision given. Seen again starting a Cologne move from deep in his own half. Neumann to Schuster. Muller. Van Gool out on the left. Haven't seen too much of the ball yet. And Anderson wins the first real confrontation between the two. Van Gool. Belgian player in the German team. Cologne ball given. Lovac, almost running to Boya. Schuster, Neumann, three players forward of him in a white strip. Van Gool, 
A little bit fortunate then, O'Neill covering, but Van Gaal still carrying on, and Schuster still unable to find the finishing header. Schuster made about 60 yards on that from the back. First time we've seen Van Gaal really causing Forrest problems. He was a little bit fortunate, but his cost was just too high, fortunately for Forrest. Lovacs will take the corner. And Gaul again on the near post. Burns got up very well. Schuster to Schrack. Christine in his defensive role. Woodcock going to mark the creeper. Who had to pull back a long way, Coleman. Creeper, the spare defender at the back. his boot, Schuster. It's going to be a very important contest between these two. Here's Neumann, blocked by Lloyd. I think Burns needing to get up well. O'Neill, Bowyer making a good run in the inside left position. It's Bertels. O'Neill has gone on and taken Prestine with him. That's for Robertson. Clark. O'Neill. Bertles to the right. The other way is McGovern. Schuster's challenge. Schuster playing just in front of the back four. McGovern shot off Strack. And here's Neumann. Burns. Bertels trying to flick it down for McGovern. Van Gaal. Lovac. Muller. And cleanly away from Lloyd. Oh, and it's just picked off and curled away for the corner. Muller completely leaving Lloyd here, and that's the second time in the match the goal kick has been given, but I must say I thought that the Shilton got a chuck, we can see. Well, I think it came off his arm. Bowyer. First ball, Zimmerman have followed him across. Here's Woodcock. And the back man did his job. Tony the McGovern, though. Really good blocking by Canopka who came across. Oh, yeah. Bertels. And Gouli was caught in possession. Woodcock. Got a lot to do, being lent on a bit by Zimmerman. But he gets the corner. But he's causing Zimmerman to work pretty hard for his living. Three men covering the near post. Anderson has come up this time and Van Gaal has come back with him. Good clearance by Schumacher. Dieter Muller, the break is left with Neumann. He's still there. And now he's got Kanopka and Muller going all the way. And the corner is given. But I think he made the wrong decision then, Dieter Muller. He had Neumann clear to his left, and he had a man coming up to his right. But he continued to carry. <laughs> Frank 
Frank has come forward again. Schuster in the area too. His track. And Lloyd was lost. Clark really just threw himself at the ball. And Robertson had to turn away because Muller was between him and Shilton. who's committing them but he's having so much to do on his own half an hour the match gone no score here in the second leg Stephen Buller getting some attention on the bench Vice Viner the trainer there with him Neumann Burns came forward and got lost Slovak, Zimmerman, who gave the ball to him. Panopka, so we've got both fullbacks forward in this attack for Cologne. Oh, yeah, again, Chilton was unsure about that. Panopka's curling cross. And a bit of a nightmare, this, for Chilton. He seemed just at the top of the picture curling he starts to come changes his mind and finds nobody else is taking it and it's coming in further than he thought <laughs> in time in live pictures we're looking at a quick free kick taken by Kanopka for Cologne has seen often in the left back position of course Zimmerman following Woodcock everywhere he goes but Zimmerman also taking the chance to go forward when he can which he is now in fact here he is number three Van Gool tripped by Anderson the whistle has gone an example there of a man who has a man for man marking job suddenly becoming an extra attacker and acting as a spring ball for an attack with Van Gool brought down by Anderson That's quite a long way out with the five-man wall. The ticket's view and Shilton's right side covered. Strack might have a go. Or Schuster. O'Neill ready to attack the ball. And the yellow card being given against Kanopka for not taking the kick and they're complaining because they feel that O'Neill wasn't 10 yards Frank still waiting and finally also O'Neill got with the encouragement of both German players and the home crowd. Now down to four men. Be struck, blocked by O'Neill. Kanopka, fouled by Woodcock. Forest players obviously feeling that uh, Kanopka made a lot of that. as before, except that Schuster's going to have the crack this time. And again, it was O'Neill who blocked. Burns at the back. Robertson. Clark. Bertels and Woodcock both on the left side. Robertson. Kuhlman. Cool 
the free kick given against Clark. Peter Muller making a little bit of a meal of that. In fact, it's Slovak, not Muller. And obviously, not her. Not sure, I think that's the second yellow card that he's received. Does Cologne get through? Cost him his place in the final. I don't know if that doesn't matter in the end anyway. That's the corner. Well, they're still feeling the back of his right thigh. Ten minutes of the first half remaining. There's been more action in this goal mouth than in the other. Track up for the umpteen corner. Turning a lot again. Good right hook. The ball going rather wider, I think, than Shilton had anticipated. Good break up by Bowyer. Woodcock looking for Robertson, who was hanging back. And all by Shilton in the Cologne half. Lloyd. And if for Bowyer. McGovern. Bertles. Lloyd just got a foot in, but to no real advantage. Clark. Cologne never bereft of cover. Woodcock and Zimmerman. And the free kick given against Robertson. Robert Zimmerman, 25 in July. Lloyd. Bertels. Anderson is forward. And it looked to me, at the very least, as though he was obstructed by Schuster. Looks as though the Germans are going to make a substitution. Ryan Slower is warming up on the touchline, just out of our view. Here's Clark. Woodcock. There's Slower. Clark, didn't see McGovern square. Woodcock once more, go kick. Woodcock, I think, entitled to expect a bit more support than he's getting. And Slower, the club captain. Coolman, almost came in the opposition half. Kenny Burns. Clark. Burns looking for movement up front. And Strach. Play on to the referee. Kanopka was there before Robertson. I'm afraid it's been too often the case. Vice pilot, Peter Muller is going to come off. Crack. Met the shoulder of the barrier. Get back in the third season with Cologne. In the meantime, the substitution is made. And there's Heinz Floher, who's come on in place of Muller. Speaking 
So they've lost the forward player for a midfield player. Five minutes of the first half remaining. Nil-nil the score. The 3-3 on aggregate. Draw is good enough for Heinz Flores' side, Cologne. But Forrest have to win. So has been out of the team with uh, injury to his chest and also hamstring problems. Christine and Flora at the moment playing as a centre forward. Neumann, Van Gool, Zimmerman, off Lloyd to a corner. Hilton thought he kept it in, but the linesman, who was some 15 or 20 yards away, had his flag up, and it's just possible he's given an offside decision. Well, if I read his signs right, there were two players offside. Oh, it's a free kick to Nottingham Forest. No, it's not. It's a corner. Well, all the players now having to come from midfield back to take the corner, which was my feeling in the first place. The referee having to explain to the players, having seemingly been... Uh, well, at least persuaded to change his mind in the first place and I don't know it, he's given a corner was his first sign it's an awful long conversation with the linesman so the Forest have maintained their concentration after all that fracas Curl once again Lloyd met it well Bertel chase for Woodcock Clark. Bertels. Boyer. Well, that's the sort of pace that Forrester are in need of, and he's done well. Goal kick. It's the final account, but an example there of what a difference a bit of pace can make. Brian Clough will be requiring rather more of that in the second half. Tendency to play the ball up to Woodcock, make him work for it, but the movement around him is nothing like quick enough to beat a man-for-man -man marking defence. Neumann. Kuhlman covering. Konopka. And Gould shielding it away from Lloyd. And a trip given against Robertson. To move into the last minute of the first half. Forrest, the seventh English club that Cologne have faced, and they've been beaten by all except Arsenal. They also lost to the Scottish side Rangers. And they beat earlier in this season's. Uh, European Cup competition. It's Kuhlman. Schumacher. Rainier looking at his watch. It's Robertson. Bowyer. Burns moving up on the far side. Here's Woodcock. Plenty of players forward here for Forrest. 
And it's still there for Clark to pick out. O'Neill couldn't get there. Coleman between two five players. Lloyd. Burns is still forward. Lower. McGovern. And we reach half time with a blank score sheet. Which means that it's 3-3 three, three on aggregate. Certainly more pressure at the forest end. But just the occasional bit of pace injected by Bowyer to supplement the great deal of hard work done up front by Woodcock. Giving Forrest perhaps some signs for the second half. So away you go Nottingham Forest on the second half, attacking the goal to our right against the side who have been beaten three times at home this season, Cologne. They've uh, lost to Eintracht, Frankfurt, they've lost to Hamburg, and they've lost to Stuttgart. All sides up at the top of the table. Talking at the top of the Bundesliga, Stuttgart lead from Kevin Keegan's side, Hamburg, who are a point behind with a game in hand. Score an aggregate 3-3. All Forest need is one breakaway goal. Never mind if they're under pressure for 89 minutes. If they score a goal in the 90th minute, that will take them to Munich and the European Cup final. Clark. Woodcock has come short, gone away again. Bertels has done the same. The ball with Lloyd. Intended to be about 20 yards further forward. Nil-nil with almost an hour of the match gone. 3-3 three, three on aggregate. Just one goal would be enough for Forrest. Cologne don't need to score. They can hold it at this. Woodcock away from two, but met the back man, Schuster. Kuhlman now breaking for Cologne. Came off his knee. Good challenge by Anderson. And slow up. Pinching about ten yards. Losing out to Konopka and fouling him to keep him away. Cologne, very experienced in Europe. This is their 17th season in European competition. They've been in every season of the 70s, and their record in the Bundesliga, which is now in its 16th season, is better than any other side. Konopka with the kick, five in the box for Cologne. At the back is Neumann. And Lloyd just got there first. Bertels. Van Gaul who came across. Real struggle between Van Gaul and O'Neill. Good challenge by Strach. But now O'Neill, he's got Woodcock to his right, taking on the back man. And the back man, Schuster, comes from defence into attack. His slower. Van Gaul. Schuster now up in the box. Here's Neumann. Lovac, the triangle by the Germans. Konopka. Straight to McGovern. 
Bertel with a bit of space. And he's done well. He's only got Woodcock up with him. Now three coming behind, but he's done two of them. Woodcock is in the middle. And it just was a stuck out leg that got it away. I think from Prestine. It really is end to end stuff now. It's becoming a marvelous semi final. It's four against four here. Here's Floher. And he hits it straight at Shilton. And Floher stretching to get back as O'Neill comes away for Forrest. Forrest in going for the victory that they must have. They've got a guard against leaving themselves too bare at the back. As the game swings from one end to the other. But they've got to gamble because they need the victory. Cologne don't. Here's Burns. Cologne in their fifth European semi-final. They've never been further. Forrest ball. Robertson has come to take the corner. And they look a little bit worried. Bowyer in the six-yard area. Flicked on, there's Bowyer! Yes, he's got it! Bowyer just inside the six-yard area, and the flick on, and the man who's played in so many places for Nottingham Forest has the face of utter delight. The curl corner, there was the back flick on, and there's Boya in the six-yard box unmarked, who curled it inside and into the roof of the net. 64 minutes gone, and the Union Jackson Forest flags being waved in the Mungasorpa Stadium. Nottingham Forest have their noses in front. 4-3 on aggregate. And now the whole balance of the tie changes. On by Neumann. But I think that Forrest, if being a little more steady at the back, have got to keep playing the way they're playing. I'm sure their supporters would want them to do that. They cannot allow Cologne to have more of the pressure. And Burns didn't quite make it with Kuhlman forward. really a question of playing to your natural instincts and the natural instincts of Nottingham Forest is to go forward and you can probably hear a very familiar British chant we shall not be moved Bowie are breaking again down the middle and Anderson on the right side and Lloyd forward as well. Clark. Oh dear. Well, you did well to collect that. Bertels. Taking on Strack. And met the sweeper, Schuster. Blow her. That's O'Neill. 15 making no attempt to go for that. Anderson. No question that Cologne are very groggy at this moment. Beautifully played by Woodcock. And the referee says only corner. Woodcock hoped for more. And with some justification. They'll have to wait to take the corner because Cologne are making a substitution. Japanese international Okudera is coming on in the place of Glovac. Exactly the same substitution as in the first leg. 20 minutes remaining. Out to Boria. Robertson. A little unlucky, it bounced off, having got it away with one, it bounced off his other leg. Shoot. 
Schuster. Konopka. Quality of passing has deteriorated rapidly, Cologne. Indicative of the struggle they're now having. Germans started the semi-finals of Europe with five of the 12 sides coming from their country. It's Prestine, Block, and the free kick not given. Celebration among the Forest supporters has been unabated since the goal. Here's Clark. Woodcock, who's been the man of the match for Nottingham Forest. Again, trying to get away from his man. Here's Bertels. Another German attack, starting with Dieter Prestine. Schuster coming forward. Floher. But they're bunching more now. There was no width for the Germans on that attack, and they had plenty in the first half. Lloyd and Burns together. Clark. O'Neill. Zimmerman to Neumann. Van Gool on the left. Neumann far post. This is Floher. Oh, dear, that came off Lloyd. Floher. And Forrest survived, so they didn't know too much about it. And McGovern caught, being a little bit casual. Van Gool, they've got three in the box again, Cologne. And the nod down by Neumann, safely in the arms of Shilton. Seven tenth minutes remaining. Forrest is tackled nothing, but well aware that if Cologne equalise, that's good enough for the Germans. They only need the draw, Forrest have to win. Zimmerman. All back by two. And here's McGovern. Saboya. Weighted well. Robertson. Obstructed surely by Konopka. The referee agrees. on a reported bonus of £3,000 a man to reach the final, 6000 if they won the European Cup. There's no lacking of incentive. Six minutes left, and Forrest in possession in every sense. Woodcock. Robertson, they get the corner. which Lloyd begins to amble forward as Schuster and Prestine move back into the middle. Lloyd coming on the near post. Tennis Woodcock. Robertson. Bertels. Hit through to Bertels and well killed at his back and the crowd impatient for the Germans to get possession to 
just hooked away by Prestine. And the ground selling their story as they move into the last five minutes. And Forrest keeping Cologne in the safest area, which is in the last third of the field. Dera, it's made no impression so far. Burns. Kenny Burns has had his struggles with fitness, but even so has given Forrest a better balance in defence. Herbert Neumann. Made his debut against England in February 78 when the Germans came from behind to win it late on. Only cap he's got so far. Here's Bertels to a very, very late flag. And there's no way that the linesman was square. Linesman was 10 yards ahead of the play then. Zimmerman. Bertels challenge. Neumann. Zimmerman. Massive white shirt forward. And Konopka, and it was blocked. And the corner. And Boya saying, calm down. I think we'll find on the replay that the shot came from the Japanese. We're not going to see it as the corner's taken. And Floer beaten through it by Anderson. Two minutes left. Coleman, Van Gaal, O'Neill, and being encouraged by supporters in front of me just to hit it down into the opposition half. The possession is a better way of doing it. Here's McGovern. O'Neill is taking to the corner flag, I suspect. Loses out in trying to do so. Burns across the cover of Angul, the ball was out of play. Johannes Law on his feet. Still more goals for Cologne than anyone, but can do nothing about the situation now. That's just a long, hopeful bash forward. Sort of thing that English sides are criticised for when their things are going against them. They're less than a minute away from doing what many people thought was impossible, Brian Clough and Peter Taylor. It's struck. Kunopka. Kuhlman now playing at centre forward. On by Neumann. Here's Kuhlman. Anderson. Oh, he's only put it to Zimmerman. Off Anderson. Bowyer to him, and Burns having to die in front. Strack, Van Gaal, very nearly unbearable to watch, let alone to play. Here's Konopka with a fine effort, and a good save by Jordan. Can he recover? And he does. Not only was that a good save, but he recovered his balance so well to grab the rebound. The only real save he's had to make, and he made it so well twice. Here's Woodcock. McGovern. Referee looking at his watch and Nottingham Forest are in the European Cup final. Carrying on where Liverpool left off. Having beaten Liverpool, they've carried on from there to keep the English flag in the final for the third year running. And they've done it the hard way to the delight of their flag-waving supporters they seem to have lost their way at home but they found their way in Cologne scoring the one goal that they needed by Ian Bowyer in the 64th minute of the match celebration scenes going on in the middle and the forest players going over to their supporters